Aquarius, what is going on with you, honey? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at you to let's find out what the energies is going on for the month of March. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Shout out to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. What's going on? To all my new subscribers, hello, baby. Mwah. Shout out to you. All right. And if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, you can do so. If you skip on over to that about tab on my YouTube page, there's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, that's Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. At the bottom of the page, you'll see something that says a link. So it's a blue link that says Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. Okay. And if this video resonates, if you want to, you know, give a love donation of a dollar too, you can do so by um, clicking that paypal link in the description let's get into the prayer and the reading for the sign of aquarius all right for the month of march all right thank you so much god for bringing us here thank you so much for shining the light thank you so much for the glory and the happiness that has been raining down upon us in 2019 i feel like we have overcome and we have shed it old skin we are fresh and brand new ain't nobody dope as me i i'm so fresh so clean i'm so fresh and so clean right now father thank you thank you so much for keeping us in this abundant glory and this abundant light please give the sign of aquarius good news please give us truth please give us divine steps to get us to the land of prosperity and happiness and full abundance that we've been waiting and we've been hoping that we've been working darn hard for please give the sign of aquarius guidance for the month of march 2019 and thank you so much father god for the blessings and the lessons thank you please give us guidance going forward in march 2019 thank you for the month of for the sign of aquarius Thank you so much. Please give us guidance for sign of Aquarius. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, really? We doing all of that. So I ain't pulling out the book on this, okay? So listen. This is the power of three. This is the power of the three witchy sisters. So basically what this is telling you here. Excuse me. So basically what this is telling you here is. That these three witchy sisters here. They have a. It's like an antenna that had it ears. You see, they use that to come around and find people that need help, that need guidance, okay? And then this is to show you honestly that um, there's a lesson or something that you're going, that's going on in your energy that you've already repeated once, you've repeated twice, and it seems like that you might repeat this thing again. Do you understand what I'm saying? So these three witchy sisters are coming around because they're using your their antenna to find people that might necessarily be about to repeat another cycle. You know, again, repeat the cycle again and just to show them and let them know, listen, this is completion. You done did this one, two, three times over. You should have learned your lesson. And if you need to go through this one more time, so be it. Let's go through this the third time. You know, so this is a warning. You about to go through something again because you didn't heed the lesson the first and the second time around. So this is your third time around. But this time you need to heed the lesson and get the message so you can finally close this chapter and move forward. OK, because I feel like there's there's a lot of there is a lot of good creativity and there's a lot of possibilities for new growth and development in your life okay so it's time for you to be brave because you have an ingenious idea and it's something for change and it's something for growth and i think you do know that this is something that you is a cycle because i'm seeing nine and 39 i'm honestly thinking that this is something that you could have been going through for maybe you know nine to 18 months or something like that and i think you're finally getting the idea and it's time for change do you see it's time for change and your mind is finally understanding that and it's time for you to be brave and you're a type of person it's just like you're very passive you're not like argumentative you're not 
confrontational and it almost saddens you that you got to pick up this sword and have to use it on somebody but you have to do that sometimes you know you can't keep allowing people to get away with things that you know they really shouldn't be getting away with so and i, I believe that that's truly what you realize like it's that aha moment like somebody's time is up do you see what i'm saying it is time to use the sword and cut certain things out because <laughs> you done repeated this one two three times over all right and it's been too much time given to a situation and this is a collision of beliefs styles attitudes and energy the storm angel so there's been a storm brewing because People are not agreeing. People do not have the same outlook on a situation. And they are just colliding. Okay? And it's time for you to recognize that, hey, certain things are just not going to connect. And certain things are just not going to connect. Because it's not meant for them to connect. Alright? So let's get some clarification in regards to the three witchy sisters. Clock work pumpkin the fairy of the highlands and the storm angel meaning again the power of three it's time to use your antenna and see that you are repeating cycles over and over again a wonderful idea an aha moment that has something to do with time okay so you're paying attention to time and, and ideas come to you that it's time to be brave because whoever you're dealing with or whatever you're dealing with and this could be um, I can see a lot of people are going through ongoing cycles in their work environment too. And it's just like where you see your career going and, and what you want as a result of your work that you, in the time that you've been putting in. You could have been there for like 18 months going on two, three years and things like that. And it's like, you know, I don't put too much time in here to not see the results. You promised me that raised the first year i came in i bust my ass and after nine months you guys were giving me praises the second year came around after you know after 18 months you promised me the same thing now this is going on the third year i'm not going to agree to accepting this you know i'm not going to continue going through the cycles here this is an aha moment the time is up it's time for change it's time to cut certain things out because maybe what i see in myself and what you see in me isn't the same thing and if you don't appreciate my value maybe it is the time to go this is aquarius looking at what she has around her and where her passions or where his passions really really lie and looking out to the future and thinking that something might be better somewhere else so maybe that's that aha moment do you see they done put that you see that other one they done laid it down and no more has use to them it doesn't have any benefit to them it doesn't give them the same spark and the same thrill they think that this one over here is more beneficial and it might be okay to just leave that where it lays sometimes you gotta leave things where they lay and you gotta continue moving forward especially if there's a collision in belief styles and attitudes and energies you know no mm -mm. you're in a situation and you might be dealing with a cancer okay you might be dealing with a cancer or possibly a fire sign um a sagittarius a leo or aries okay but this person here is, is driving on a rocky road. Their carriage isn't even in the best condition. Do you understand? Your horses are not even agreeing on the destination of where they should go. Like I said, a collision in beliefs. One person believes that you should go on this side. The other horse believes that you should go on the other side. No, like are we going east or west? You know? So someone needs to get their emotions together. Because... It is going to get in the way of this journey that they're trying to go on. And it's going to make a longer journey or it's going to stagnate you in regards to your progress in this journey. You need to get your emotions together and you need to know exactly where you're going and what you're doing. Because you can try to put this front on and have this hard outer shield. But inside, if you internally feeling like shit and don't understand, you know... <laughs> What's going on in life right now, you still are on a rocky path. It don't matter how much of a hard armor you got on. Do you feel what I'm saying? 
you can't be blinded you have to make a solid decision on what it is that you really want and this is the thing that's why you are repeating cycles because you're not seeing certain things that are um evidently like clearly in front of you because i want to say that you are purposely putting a blind eye onto something okay so listen um again this is a water sign okay so this is a cancer scorpio um Pisces, this is the page of cups in reverse. I feel like maybe someone has rejected love or you have rejected love from somebody. Okay? Hmm. Something's time is up. And it just seems like, you know, there's a slow pace and a slow movement from kind of getting away from that element. I really do feel like the person in your environment that you're dealing with. And I do see, um... I do definitely feel like that this is a water sign, someone that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, there's some secrets going on with this person. There's some stuff going on in the background that you are not aware of in regards to the situation. And that's why that there is a delay and slow progress in the sun is setting in this beginning i feel like this was a situation that was still new it was still vibrant and it could have went somewhere but it didn't take off because there's something going on and they go to crab again yeah y'all most definitely are dealing with a water sign y'all are dealing with either a cancer or a pisces because the moon represents cancer and pisces this is the water the page of cups in reverse that's cancer scorpio pisces and that's the cancer sign right there with the chariot all right, have a cancer or cancer Pisces, or this is um, some fire sign energy here. But the hermit card, it's time for you to like really, it's really time for you to get your wits about yourself and really use your wisdom and your intuition. And there goes those moons again. Okay, so listen. Don't purposely be blinded by the situation with this uh, water sign that you're dealing with. Do you see what I'm saying? If this person hasn't been, you know, effectively communicating with you, their love and their passions and their emotions, and if their emotions are all over the place and or if their emotions are null and void. Whereas though it used to be a lot of new birth in life. You know, I feel like as quickly as it started, it fizzled out very quick because this was a very young energy. This thing barely got off of the ground, you know, and I feel like there were certain red flags that you did not see in the beginning that this person was a little bit emotionally immature. And this might have been not someone that you wanted to. Um, I mean, because this is two double doses of someone that does not know how to give their self emotionally. And that is not emotionally sure of what they want in the first place. Do you see what I'm saying? So how can someone communicate to you about what they want in regards to relationships and their commitments and emotions when they're driving on rocky grounds? They don't know what the fuck they want. They don't know where they're going. And their carriage is fucked up. They need to, they need to get a better vehicle to drive in anyway if you're trying to go somewhere. Do you see what I'm saying? So why are you acting like you don't see that, Aquarius? You see that. And you knew that this person was emotionally immature. That's why you like, uh, I ain't really spend that much time here. Because I really don't think that you spent a lot of time in this relationship with this person. I don't think that it was something like 4, 5, 10, 15 years. Uh-uh. This was something where you was like, uh-uh, 2 years is enough. Thank you. Mm-mm. I'm good. So I don't give a damn if this is a relationship, if this is a job. You said two years is enough because the first time you promised me that there would be change. I waited. I didn't see none. The second year come, I waited. I seen and now you talking the same bullshit as if I'm supposed to close my eyes and be blinded and don't see that shit. Oh no, you got me fucked up. Like I said, I only think you've been with this person about two years or you've been at this job for about two years. And you done came to that aha moment. Time is up on this shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I got to use my intuition. I got to let my intuition guide me. And something is telling me there's some bullshit going on here. There's some stuff going on that I don't know about. And there go that goddamn crab again. Okay? Hard on the outside. Soft as fuck in the middle. Trying to get their emotions together in the middle. And um, I ain't no crab ass. I ain't no crab. So, um, I don't know what that's about, 
but someone need to take them little pinchers and go somewhere else don't be trying to clench on to me and don't let me go and keeping me held down with secrets and mystery and no 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 no. let me the fuck go take this goddamn watery ass bullshit so take that shit somewhere else don't be trying to clench and hold on to me so y'all might be dealing with a water sign that is trying to hold on to you for dear life as well that is also what i'm feeling and that is stagnating your new beginnings there's a passionate new beginnings that is calling you like pookie is it's calling me it's calling me like pookie this new beginning is calling you but if you still allowing this crab to grab his pinchers and keep Hold on, you going on? If you allowing this crab to pull you over here instead of you going, you, you, you see what I'm saying? It's getting in the middle of your new birth, of your new development. Do you see what I'm saying? And you're trying to soar away, but the sun is soon setting. So don't miss this. Do not miss this new beginning. I need you to turn around and you see that you got to burn down old foundations in order and have new beginnings. And you see this person is putting a lot of force. You see how much of that muscle that he's putting behind willing that way for his new future and his new foundation. He's putting a lot of passion and effort in there, honey. That's movement. That's determination. This person ain't putting a lot of goddamn effort. Look at that. Do you see any veins of muscle? No, you don't see shit. You got to work a little bit harder for this. You got to use your intuition and you got to let the sun shine and illuminate certain things. Because they go this, they go to Hermit in reverse. That he's holding that light of illumination and he's being guided by his intuition, okay? And remember, ain't those the same damn dogs? Those are the same dogs from the moon. Those are the same dogs from the moon. So once you figured out it was some shit going on in the background that you were not aware of. And you were kind of scared of the future of this situation because your intuition was guiding you to figure out what the fuck was going on with that crab down there. Because some dogs was howling, oh, bitch, oh, bitch, something, oh, something, oh, something wrong, bitch, oh, bitch, <laughs> look out, bitch, oh. Uh, use your intuition, bitch. <laughs> you done got your damn um, lamp on. You're like, hold on, what the fuck? Why is these dogs hollering? Let me go over here to this moon and figure out what's going on. And you done seen that crab doing God knows what, whatever they sneaky doing. Are you like, oh no, motherfucker. Oh no, motherfucker. Y'all remember that meme? <laughs> <laughs> that badass little boy. Oh no, motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all are like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm being guided by my intuition. My intuition told me to come check out what this motherfucker is doing. And another thing, y'all see them snakes? Y'all see that snake on that egg? And y'all see the snake on his um little, uh, what is that thing? Walking stick? Those snakes means wisdom. You're tapping into your wisdom and your intuition. You better go on, honey. Because you said, uh-uh, this, this, this son about to set here on this new beginning. And that means I'm going to be stuck here with you. I'm going to be stuck here with you. Somebody don't know where the hell they going. Fuck, boy. Uh-uh. You ain't even... You ain't even saying nothing to me, though. That is really worth me talking to you for. So, And I don't trust you anyway. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And look at that crab in here. Don't this crab look sneaky as shit? Look at him. Somebody that crab I don't trust. Somebody that crab I don't trust. Somebody that Pisces or that Cancer. What are they talking about? This could not be the one. It, it very much so could not be, honey. You need to just stop. Time is up for that. Time is up for that spirit. Give me some additional guidance for um, Aquarius. And I feel like Aquarius ain't bothered. But y'all already know how Aquarius be. Aquarius could give a shit. Aquarius couldn't give a goddamn. Stop delaying the separation with this person. This person is blocking your beginnings and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I feel like just trust the situation trust the situation because you know something else is coming out better for you because at the end of the day the beginnings the new beginnings for something is on the table you just got to use your wisdom and your intuitions in the situation dealing with this water sign this water sign is fucking shit wreck
What are we talking about? It's a loss of attraction. But you have chemistry and true love somewhere else where you're trying to make an effort. But you're neglecting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Oh, of course, you out there being sneaky tiki. You being sneaky tiki, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know that this is not the one. You know that this is not the one. And the thing is, I know me a couple of quarters, so I could definitely see y'all doing this shit. Y'all realize real fucking quick, uh-uh. <laughs> Aha moment. Time is up. This nigga full of some bullshit. It's just, I don't want to have to pull my sword out because, you know, I like to be on my chill shit. I like to be on my chill shit. I don't like all this drama. Y'all know Aquarius is don't like it. They don't do the drama. They don't do the drama. Okay? That's for your mama. That ain't for me. I ain't your mama. I ain't your mom. Don't be coming over here with this bullshit. All this, no. Uh-uh. You don't agree with me? Our lifestyles ain't working. That's cool. That's cool. That is That is cool. That is cool. Because I done gave you chances two or three times too many. That's cool. That is perfectly cool. Because you ain't, you, you, you can't make your mind up and decide where you want to go and what you want to do when you hide and shit. And not only that, you trying to hold on to me so that I don't go nowhere. What? Is that what they're doing, Aquarius? They're holding on you so you can't go nowhere. You got a Pisces holding on to you so you can't go nowhere. You got a Cancer. You got a Scorpio hold on to you so you can't go nowhere. But you know that this person ain't the one for you. You know this person ain't the one. This person don't know what the hell they goddamn want. But it's like you don't really want to separate this with this person. But you know that you do. But you need, you've you been delaying it. But you know that that's the best thing for you. I feel like this person, when things were really, really good, they were really, really good. But once it became the beginning of the end, it was no turning back. It was no turning back. And that's why this person doesn't know how to emotionally give you what you want. And you've been slowly moving away. You've been slowly moving away. You've been slowly moving away. You're trusting your intuition <laughs> and your inner guidance right now. You're not even attracted to this person no more. Is that how this shit came out? Yeah, you're not attracted to this person anymore. There's been, I feel like this person, especially if you've been doing what, been dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, you know how Aquariuses are. They don't like all that whiny shit. They don't like all that sneaky, all this, you know, it's like you being sneaky, but when I'm trying to talk to you about it, you sitting up there whining and complaining, acting like you a fucking victim. Aquarius don't like that shit. It, it, it turned them off completely. It turned them off completely, and that's why they slowly moving away, and they've been talking to other people, and they don't found chemistry somewhere else. Look, y'all already know how Aquarius do. They will go find them a new love somewhere else real quick. Don't do me. I thought you knew me. Don't ever do me. Don't be coming to me with this goddamn mixed emotional wish-washy one, 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 one day you feel like a nut, one day you don't. No, I ain't, uh-uh. I'm, I I made the effort. I made the effort to try to make this work. But, you know, to I'm really going to regret to do this. But I'm going to have to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation that I really don't want to have with you. And let you know that I'm moving on. And that's, I mean, and that's her. Like, it really hurts her heart. That she don't want to be mean and she won't have to pick up this sword and shit. But, goddamn, I don't know why people think, like, Aquarius would not use the sword. If Aquarius would use the sword, they think because Aquarius be off their cool, chill-ass shit. Like, they be on their real passive stuff. They don't really be wanting a whole bunch of smoke and drama and stuff. They just feel like, no, like, I will get with you. Like, Aquarius just sit there and look at you dumb. Like, you really want me to get up out of my seat and say something to you? I'm just going to look at you, stupid, just, to, you know, so you can think about what you're doing right now. That's how Aquarius is. And it's like, if you really make me come up out my cur, oh, you going to regret it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Aquarius sneaky, though, because they'll just go and they'll just move on. They'll just move on. Hold on. That just flew out. Okay. Who you being recognized by, Aquarius? I told y'all y'all out there. Mmm. Mmm. Aquarius. Aquarius. What did you do? Oh. Mm. That was a karmic partner, honey. That was a karmic. This person that you've been dealing with, this water sign, you listen. You finally in a connection where you truly being recognized. Ooh. Touch me nicely. Love me good and plenty. Yeah, baby. Austin Power Voice. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Do I make you randy, baby? Do I make you horny, baby? Yeah, baby. You nasty mother scunt. Bitch. 
that person that you was dealing with, that water sign, this person that don't know what they want to do, where their emotions lie, if they like you, if they don't, that was a karmic situation. That person had somebody else going on in the background. That's why that person couldn't figure out exactly where their emotions lie. That's why you see that moon. That's why your intuition called you to fuck over there to see what that goddamn crab was doing, didn't it? Didn't it? Uh-huh. That, that, look. That joint right there was weak and pussy old. Try to keep a nigga, baby. Didn't you, bitch? Didn't Eddie, didn't Eddie Griffin tell you that in the Chronic 2001? Didn't he? Weak and pussy. Okay? So while you the main one at home, he over here with this weak and pussy. You see what I'm saying? And your intuition called you out to go see what the fuck was going on. And this was a karmic partner for you. This motherfucker ain't no body. This person don't deserve your body. This person ain't nobody. He don't deserve your body if he don't know what he want. Boom! How you like that? Your life wasn't going to ascend as long as this person was in your energy. But guess what, boo? You got the God now, honey. Woo! Let me tell you something. This fall... You're going to have somebody that's going to come through and shake, rattle, and roll your bones, honey. And you're just going to surrender. You're going to be like, ooh, take me now. Touch me nicely. Touch me nicely, please. 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 You see that? You see that? Do you see that? When you make your mind up and you make your decision, you say, uh-uh. Time is up, nigga. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I ain't want to use my sword on you, but you thought I was playing. Because if you don't know, now you know, baby, baby. Let me surrender to something delicious and something delightful and something. Yes. Yes, bitch. Anyway, okay, let me, mm -mm. let me go forward. Let me go forward into the light. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. They must didn't know you, boo. Huh? Who they thought they was dealing with? They must ain't know Aquarius too much. I knew Aquarius. I could have told them that. I could have told them that. Don't you ever sleep on no Aquarius. Give me Aquarius guidance and uh, finance and career and their overall purpose, life purpose for uh, March. Creative expression. Go, go and create and express yourself. I feel like y'all party planners, y'all producers, music. This this situation has been blocking you creativity in your music. Y'all party planners, y'all are producers, y'all environment has been tainted. You ain't been able to focus on your heart's desire and you ain't been able to decide where to go. It's time to decide, honey. Come on, what is this saying? Mm-hmm. It's time for you to decide and make yourself free it's time for you to decide freedom is the key okay you are a very creative person you like to have fun you the life of the party like you like to mix and mingle and tend to lies and tingle bitch that's you you be out here creating vibes honey you be creating vibes and you ain't been able to i feel like you've been having writer's block in regards to your music you ain't been able to just nothing has been coming to you creativity creativity oh lord jeez i can't ain't nothing been able to come to you creatively because your environment has been tainted by this situation it's been tainted and you've not been able to surrender yourself and focus on your truest desire and what really brings the joy into your life which is your life's purpose which is your music your art you being able to express um yourself you being able to connect and mingle and make people's lives brighter like you are the social network aquarius is the social network you bring people together. You make people smile. Like, that's what you are. It is time for you to decide, but you've been delaying doing this. And you need to make yourself free so that you can focus on your life purpose. Because this shit is being blocked by this bullshit. And that's one thing. I'm a water sign. I love, listen, I'm a water sign. All Scorpios are not bad because I'm not a bad person. It's just you got to understand certain people when they are in a low vibration versus a high vibration once you get around people you have to be have a better antenna of energy you have to see if this person is working in the highest of their vibrations or in the low if you're just like uh-uh this person i just get some very low vibrational energy but you cut them off girl don't even entertain them i don't give a damn how good they look i don't care yo cleansing detox it's time to go 
stop doing listen you need to cleanse and detox yourself and i also want y'all to stop drinking so much i feel like y'all been partying y'all been drinking a little bit too much okay because i feel like you guys have been trying to maybe get yourself back out there a little bit because your creativity has been blocked and your environment has been tainted i feel like you haven't been trying to be in your environment especially if this person lives with you so i can see that you guys maybe have been partying and hanging out with friends a little bit more maybe been just partaking a little bit too much and not only that you just need to cleanse this person out of your energy and out of your space like i told you your environment has been tainted okay your environment has been tainted it is time for this motherfucker to go do you hear me cleanse and detox what is Oh, this shit just flying out. What is this? Blocking your steady progress. It's time for this person to go, baby. You hear Ari Lennox in the back? Oh, you been everywhere. This person ain't been giving and receiving to you because this person has been giving and receiving other places, okay? This shit is blocking your um, steady progress. And you need to be in a situation that is going to adequately give to you as much as you are giving to it, okay? You don't need to be in a situation where people just take, take, taking from you and taking advantage of you. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. And the thing is, you got a sexy body. You got a sexy body because you're a hardy. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of the situation has been um, revolving around sex. And it's a sex thing. And I feel like y'all haven't been able to let each other go because it's a sex-based thing. And listen, you need to get that devil dick up out of you, girl. Look. For my man, you need to get that devil puss up on you. Listen, that Juicy Lucy had you going a little... Fr that Juicy Lucy have you flipping around like a Fruit Loop. Fucking crazy out your mind. Tripping, okay? Mm-mm, mm-mm. You need to eat some Wheaties. You need something with protein, vitamins, and minerals. You need to eat something nutritious. No more Fruity Loops. No more Fruit Loops. Nothing that is sweet and is delicious. But have your ass, have your blood sugar high as fuck. Have you tripping. Have your goddamn limbs ready to fall off your body. You better cut it the fuck out. Shit. You better goddamn drink some water. Drink some water and detox, okay? Get that shit out of here. Time to go. Time to go. Don't block your steady progress no more. Only deal with people that are giving to you as much as you give to it. Focus on your environment. You have not been... Your only relationship that you should be focusing your energy is you, you your self-love and your relationship with God. That's the only thing that is going to make change. You need to focus on your relationship with the divine, with the creator, and he will make things happen for you and bring you the relationship that you truly want and truly desire but you have to work more on loving yourself in your relationship with him that's the only relationship that's important right now and you are not being honest with yourself about this water sign that you're dealing with and this is the perfect timing for you to get yourself together and stop seeing love in this situation because i feel like you're dealing with this person with rose colored glasses and you're giving this person too much credit and you're looking at him in a light that this person really doesn't deserve to be glorified in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what they say when you look at people with rose-colored glasses, honey? Sometimes you got to unplug yourself from the matrix and step on the outside and look in at the situation as someone that don't have them glasses on for you to really see someone for who they really are. Please give me one last message for the sign of Aquarius before we get up out of here. Thank you so much. I feel like something flipped over. Did it? Did it not? Did it? Did it not? You know. Girl, you was eating whipped cream, having vivid dreams, okay? Spirit, please give me additional guidance for the sign of the birds for March. God, please give me guidance. It's the ending, okay? You didn't see that situation coming. You were backstabbed and betrayed by this person. You didn't see that a sneak attack. You didn't see this person run up on you on a sneak attack because you was chilling off your chill shit. You was minding your business, letting your bunion breathe, eating some funyuns, watching Netflix and shit. And here come this person texting you 
playing mental mind manipulation games on you and shit and you totally didn't see this bullshit coming but guess what you're over the manipulation you're blocking out the mental anguish in the bullshit it's like all right nigga you got me whatever i'm moving on i'm moving on this person was a self-consumed asshole and it's like it ain't no way in hell i'm going back to this situation i'm gonna find a brand new direction to go back to so you know if you are considering going back to this person whoever this water sign it is and again there go some cups look at this motherfucker drinking his own cup this person is self-consumed do you understand what i'm saying and this person probably has a drinking issue okay so this person, before they left you, they drunk every last cup of whatever ounce of emotion that they offered you before they left you and went on to do whatever it was that they were doing. They drunk everything their self before they moved forward. So it wasn't nothing left in the situation. So it ain't nothing left. You damn right it ain't nothing left because it ain't nothing there to go back to. Okay. There was a complete ending to that situation. Complete ending to that situation. You got to find a new direction. You got to find a new direction. You can't deal with the self-consumed. The two, Yeah, they go to the two of wands again. They go to two of wands. And it's like, there you go with the two of wands. You got your world in your hand. And you're like, I'm... I might just leave this behind here. And while I'm in search of a new world, I'm in search for some new passions. I'm in search of a new destiny. And this person is looking at you, thinking about moving forward and leaving this situation behind. Because this person was so self-consumed. I don't think that they ever thought that you would actually have that wild out moment and honestly really walk away. And, you know, take your passions and desires elsewhere. I don't know why. This person was trying to sneak and get away with shit. And like I said, this person was trying to man, um, man, mentally manipulate you and get away with murder. And I feel like this person was being sneaky. This person was being sneaky. And I told you that moon. Clarify that moon in the seven of swords, please. Thank you so much. The sun. The sun. That's being clarified by the sun. You, okay... This is a situation, honestly, where, listen, all right, there was an ending. You were betrayed and you were backstabbed, and I feel like you're over the hurt, you're over the mental anguish. You realize that this person was self-consumed, and this person didn't know how to emotionally give, and ain't nothing to go back there to, okay? You see your new world, and you're ready to take steps forward to that, and you don't give a fuck who's looking at you, Okay? You're like, you know what? This person plays so many mind games with me. Let me play a little bit of myself because this motherfucker ain't even about to see me dip out on him, okay? Because I know the star that I am because I done seen the light, baby. And I got faith and I got hope, okay? I got hope in myself and I know. You know, I'm going to make better decisions because not only am I spiritually guided, I'm taking some of that water from that spiritual pond and I'm pouring it into my environment. Now, you are cleaning up your environment because you need your inspiration back. You need to tap back into your creativity. You need to get back into your goddamn essence. Do you see what I'm saying? You're like, I'm not about to let this motherfucker knock me off my goddamn game. I'm not about to let nobody knock me off my game. All right. I'm, I promise you. I'll assure you I will show you better than I will ever run my mouth to you. And that's the thing. Aquarius is like, you know what? I'm not about to sit here and talk shit to you because you see what I'm doing. You see the actions that I'm taking. Okay, so you can sit there and sleep if you want to, but the same way you can... Try to play games with people mentally and, and sneak around. I'm sneaking around too, but my sneaking around, I'm sneaking the fuck up out of here. Because I know my destiny. I know what I deserve. I know what I deserve. So at the end of the day, um, you snuck away and you retreated from this energy. Because those butterflies are those new beginnings. You keep seeing signs of new beginnings every goddamn where you go. Everywhere you go, you keep seeing these little signs of... Listen... Look, you see the bird there? 
You see the bird there? You see how them dogs woke you up and told you to get the fuck up and there's something going on? You see those snakes bringing you to your intuition and your wisdom? Do you see? You done had so many signs of different things that done came in and then done guided you here. That done guided you to this light. Do you see what I'm saying? To this light, Aquarius. Do you see me? Those butterflies said it's time to wake up, alright? It is time to wake up. It is time to wake up. This is the magician. That person got away with being sneaky. That person got away with conniving. And guess what? So did you. And it's time for you to step back into your game. Step back into your power. Because I feel like you going through this situation. And even you feeling. I feel like you felt bad that you had to play the games that you played. To get away from this situation. Because you had to sneak out of this atmosphere. You had to play a couple games yourself. And like I said you had to use that sword. And this motherfucker ain't see that shit coming. In, or, and or they ain't see. They ain't going to see it coming. Because you had to choose yourself. And you had to do what, what, what was best for you. And you felt powerless at that time that you were dealing with this situation you felt powerless and now it's time for you to regain your powers and stop looking back at those spilled cups from the past those things that that cancer pisces scorpio did not offer you because you see the three cups are down there so instead of it just you being you and that person it was someone else in the mix okay and that is one thing is your mourning. You hate that this happened. You hate that you had to walk away. You keep looking back at those things. And that's the thing that's making you weak and making you feel powerless and stuff like that. Because this person came around and they sent messages to you and they seemed like they had the passion for you. That they had the drive and that everything was going to be okay. But they were only around while the getting was good. And as soon as the passion and, and, and the newness, that new car smell started to fade out, they were off into the next thing that was thrilling their heart. And the only thing that you got to do is you got to learn to fill your own fucking cups, okay? So I don't give a fuck, you know? Aries is like, I done figured out how to fill my own cups. The only person I'm worried about is my goddamn kids, okay? So, yeah, I done snuck away from you, and you feeling some type of way, but, bitch, I'm feeling smug because I don't give a shit about how you feel, bitch, okay? Because I done had that wild out moment, and something told me, you know what? Don't keep going through the cycles with this motherfucker because you're going to get the same shit over and over and over again. And my fucking friends came and said, you know what? One, two, three times enough, bitch. Time, time is up. Uh, voila, voila, magic, voila, fish tail the night, park alive, need magic. Yeah, what? Where future at when you need him? You seen your future. You said voila, magic. It's time to cut this bitch off. Time to go. Me and you ain't on the same page, and I'm good with it. Take care now. Bye bye then. In the words of Ace Ventura, Aquarius, I love you, love you, love you. If this video resonates, hit the like, share, and subscribe button if you want a personal or private reading. If you want energy that directly correlates with you and your situation because this is universal um, collective energy for the collective sign of Aries for the month of March. If you want your personal energy, you can go ahead and click that about tab. I'll, get, I'll go ahead and get you on out the street. I'll hook you up, boo. It'd be just me and you. If you would like to send a love donation, if this resonated with you, if this reading gave you everything that you needed, you say, you know what, Reds, I fuck with you. This was everything. You done gave me all the clarity and the inside I need. I'm going to give you a proper dollar dropper. Let me give you a dollar or two. If you want to go ahead and do that, you can feel free to do so. It is not required, okay? But if you desire, go on ahead. I appreciate the love. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the mid-months. Y'all don't forget to check out the Divine masculine divine feminine i'm out